Kanakwa River State Park Preserve. So I'm at the Connectquat River State Park. It's about 10, 15 minutes from where I live. Decided to come for a quick hike. It's about a three mile loop. Basically here, just testing out my camera. Um, I, bought a, I bought a Panasonic Lumix. Um, and also I got the iPhone X Max Plus or whatever you want to call it. And I got a gimbal, the Osmo Mobile 2. So I want to test them all out on this trail. See how it works. And I needed a hike, because god damn, I'm out of shape. Found this little waterfall over here in the middle of the woods. I'm assuming that's deer shit, but I wouldn't know. I do notice it's very like swampy around here. A lot of water. You can tell I'm getting deeper and deeper in the woods now. This, these woods are located, you know, between Sunrise Highway, Vets Highway, and you know, right now the, the traffic, you can kind of hear it, but it's getting very distant. I'm not sure how far in I am. Maybe half a mile, but it's good to get lost in the woods sometimes. Connect with nature. I see a little off trail over here though. I'm curious. I mean, it's a overgrown off trail, off the main trail, but I'm not gonna go through it. Not that I'm scared of getting lost or anything, but a lot of ticks in these woods and I'm not trying to catch no Lyme disease or anything. Mushrooms. There's mushrooms everywhere in this freaking park. It's like everywhere you look. I don't even know what you call that one over there. Right now it's about like 70 degrees and it's very, very humid outside. Like, I'm going to be sweating here in a little bit. I'm going to say it's a shortcut though. It's right next to that other off trail I just saw. It probably just cuts through. It was probably for like vehicles or something, try looking for someone or whatever. I just keep sticking to this. A lot of birds on these trails. I hear them. I wish I could see some of these birds. See what I'm hearing. Just found this feather in the woods. Right off the trail. Wonder what kind of bird that is. Probably a turkey. Not sure. Got turkeys crossing up there. Those are the turkeys I just saw crossing a path. Thanksgiving right around the corner. Turkeys are getting nice and plump. It's no wonder they ate them turkeys like 
back, like, you know, during the Native American times. Little big fat birds. A lot of meat. A lot of protein and deliciousness. Mm-mm-mm. crazy because I just got into hiking maybe like this year I probably did my major big hike which was only a five mile loop over at Buttermilk Falls in Pennsylvania well New Jersey really but um you know there's a lot of nature to be seen out here right in Long Island so might as well take advantage of it get some exercise hike and enjoy the outdoors Not sure what the hell that is. Weird. It looks like a seed though. It's like Kahlo too. Maybe a mushroom. So, according to the All Trails app, um, this is supposed to be a very heavily trafficked trail, but it is Tuesday. I got here like around 12.20. Um, and I don't know. I, I saw like two cars parked at the trail uh, head. And that was about it. As you can see, there's nobody that way. And there's nobody this way. I found another like off trail. I'm always curious with these off trails. Like where they lead. But again, I don't got time like that. It's too late in the day. Yeah, I know. I sound like a... I got to another one of these break-off junctions, so I don't know whether to go this way or that way. Let me figure it out right now. Okay, so on the blue dot right there, if I go this way right here, that would take me up this way. But I really don't want to go that way because, I don't know, I don't think it's very scenic around there. So what I'm going to do is go up this way, shoot all the way up top, keep going, and try to go up this trail right here. That'll take me close to Vets. I'll probably go all the way up this trail and then come back down, all the way back down, follow that little Kanekwa River back to the trailhead. I might try to cross it over here though. My thumb is that. But right now I'm here. If this thing wants to, I'm right there. So I'm gonna shoot up this way. I think I'm gonna put the phone away for now. Stop recording with that and just keep recording with the Lumix because um, I need to pick up the pace because I'm getting bit up by these mosquitoes. I guess they're trying to get their last uh, run of the season before it gets really cold out here. And today's humid, so. It's like perfect mosquito biting weather. Not to mention, I'm like the only human being, I think, in these woods right now. So, I'm attracting them. But, I'm going to put this away for now. And uh, just continue recording with that. Finally, I see my first sighting of wildlife. Little deer. There he goes. He was probably looking at me and wondering what the heck I was. There's a lot of deer out here in Long Island. Lots of deer. And they carry the Lyme disease. They get it from the ticks, or the ticks give it to them, or they give it to the ticks. I don't know what it is, but from what I hear, it's not a good disease to have. Okay, so I figured it out. That isn't deer poop, that's horse poop. I just realized this is a heavily trafficked horse trail as well. Like people, I guess, could ride their horses if they live in the area. And the only reason I figured that out is because I keep seeing these horseshoe tra tracks. As far as I know, I know, you know, deers have hoofs, but I don't know, I keep seeing these horseshoe tracks. And they're mainly on the trail, so. I'm assuming these flags stand for probably like a tick area or something. It's like a little grassy meadow. 
intersection actually. I'm gonna have to see which way to go here in a sec, but. I basically came to a crossroad and there's nothing really telling me which way to go. I came from back that way. There's that way. We got a little hill over here and there's this way. I think this is where I left off before, where I split. Looks like somebody else was hiking through here today. Footprint right there. Actually, there's a... Probably a bicycle or motorcycle. Dirt bike. Let's figure it out. Now, the good thing about hiking on Long Island is you don't got no elevation gains. Like, you know, when you're going upstate, you know, you're, you're climbing mountains. Upstate Pennsylvania, you know, Long Island is basically flat. Except for the North Shore. You know, you got a little elevation over there, but nothing crazy. Um... But, you know, you're not exhausting yourself, like really hiking mountains or anything like that. These are just, you know, leveled hikes. So far, I give this trail, I don't know, like an eight out of 10. I like it. I mean, it's not very scenic. You got your little spots, the ponds and the streams that you could, you know, take photos or whatever at, but it's a good trail. It's good for exercise, I'll tell you that much. I like it. Especially it's close to home. Like I said, I only live like 10, 15 minutes from here. So it's pretty cool. Another nice mushroom. I see a lot of these mushrooms over here in this park. They got like the red tops. I mean, I heard you could eat them, but I mean, I wouldn't do it. To me, none of these things are edible. I don't even like mushrooms regularly, like the clean ones you get at the supermarket. I mean, from time to time, I do eat them, but I got to like, I don't know, they got to be sourced, like sesame sauce or something for me to like eat it. Like in Chinese food, I think, with uh, vegetable fried rice, they be sticking, uh, um, you know, mushrooms in there with assorted vegetables and I'll eat it like that. The one thing you can't escape in the woods is technology. I mean, you can't escape it if you leave it behind, but the way the society we live in today, you know, you need it to be in touch with the outside world just in general. Be right back. Well, speaking of food, I think it's time for me to like sit down and have a little quick snack because I'm starving. All I got is water and some cliff bars, but that'll do for now. Peanut butter cliff. Perfect seating area. Nice and quiet in here. The only negative about this Panasonic Lumix camera that I got, well, this model in general, it doesn't have a mic input. It does have a mini USB input, and it does have a mini HDMI input. But the mini USB input is for charging the camera. And the mini HDMI, I believe, is for, you know, playing uh, pictures on the TV or video on the TV or whatever that you recorded. So if anybody knows another solution, because I got the external mic that plugs into the camera, you know, if anybody has a solution, you could like comment down below or whatever. Let me know if, you know, you got a quick fix. I did buy a external Tascam, you know, mic that goes up top on the camera, but then you have to sync the audio with the video, which sucks. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so I almost totally just walked right underneath this thing. Humongous bees in us. 
I haven't seen a bee's nest that big in years, especially out here in Long Island. It's huge. But that's what I mean, like you zone out in the woods. They look like hornets. Oh well. Let me leave these bees alone and I'm gonna go this way. I mean, I'm at a like split in the fork actually. I could go that way, but I'm gonna continue this way because that way brings me closer to Vets Highway, Veterans Highway. And I'm trying to like avoid the sound of traffic while I'm in here. Not to mention, like I said, my mic, you know, I'm using the camera's mic right now, not the external mic I bought, because this camera didn't have an external mic input, so. So right now I'm recording with the iPhone on the Osmo Mobile 2. I got, a, I got the tracking set to follow me, like, wherever I move. So wherever my head goes, the gimbal follows. It's crazy. It's pretty dope. One thing's for sure is that the mosquitoes are eating me alive right now. And I got DEET on. DEET is, like, potent. Like, it's, like, off times 10. And these mosquitoes are still biting through me. Jesus Christ. So that's where I just came from. If you notice the difference in quality, it's because uh, my Lumix camera died. But it's a good thing I came out of there because I wasn't supposed to be in there. That's why that trail is so overgrown. So, uh, whoops on my part. But this is the way I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna stay off the main service road. I was just talking to this gentleman. He's headed to the hatchery. I guess that's what it is over there. But, uh, let's go. Right now I'm recording on the iPhone XS Max Plus with the Osmo Mobile 2 by DJI. So, I'll be taking footage with this here on out. I got like 50% battery on my phone right now and I've been using it all day, so. But this should last me to the end. I don't think I got much to go. Right now I'm at four and a half miles and I've been here for about two, two hours and a half or so. It's now 3.37, I got here at Actually, I've been here for longer. I've been here for three hours. Whoops. Well, the sky's coming out, the sun. Clouds seem to be clearing. Says to feed the deer down there. Got a little friend over there. Could probably make him out. Hold on. Nah, you're not gonna be able to see him. It's a little chickmunk. See if I can get closer. It's right there. There he is. Right here. There he goes. So this trail is almost sending and it uh, 
it opens up to like a little metal area. It's very nice. You can almost make out the sound of the cars. Well, I could definitely hear it. Traffic, civilization. <laughs> We're almost here at the end. Tree Trail, American Basswood. Dila Americana. In my Spanish accent. Mile post 50. Back on pavement. I was only supposed to do three miles today. I ended up doing five. We're back at the end of the trail, but before I leave, I want to check out this pond again real quick. It's a big pond over there. When I first got here, I saw it. Here I am. Back at the end of the trail. They're basically waiting for me to lock the gates because this park closes at four. So um, I'm going to hurry it on up and get out of here. But uh, this is Kanekwa State Park located in Islip, New York. And uh, happy trails.